Good morning, happy Monday. You know, sometimes you have to outsmart them, them creatures, because she didn't, sometimes when I pick up her leash and her harness, she turns around and she runs and gets under the coffee table like she doesn't want to go for a walk, which is fine with me, but I know she needs to go for a walk. So, I just walked out the door without her. She come flying to the door looking at me like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm not playing your game today, sister. You gotta go for a walk and you're going with me. Ah, ah, hold on. Okay, so I decided last night, there's my little Charlie. I decided last night that I had some open space here in the front garden. So there is one. He actually sent two bulbs. So I put one there and the other one is right there. Sorry, that's hard to, that little thing poking out. <laughs> so I think that'll be good. I need to get the, that's the devil. That's the devil right there. I can't stand it. I have been trying to get rid of that stuff ever since I moved here. But anyway, yeah, I thought that would be the perfect place because they have plenty of room to grow. Yas, okay. And then the next thing I did was I tried to clean off my porch of the devil's yellow dust. And I, I mean, it looks a lot better, but it's hard to get it all off okay i'll be back now then that's my cabinet so that looks terrible let me pull it out hi there how is everyone okay so i'm gonna put on my pinto beans to cook and i just wanted to show you what i do so i have already poured in a box of chicken broth. Please stand by. Okay, my boss called. You know when the boss calls, you kind of have to take the call, <laughs> especially when you're at work. She doesn't care that I'm putting pinto beans on, especially if I share with her, but you know, still. Okay, so I have put in the one big box of chicken stock. I put that in instead of water, and I add a teaspoon. Look at isn't that the cutest thing? I put a teaspoon of salt. Now, I put a teaspoon last time, and they still needed a little salt, but I would rather put a teaspoon and need to add than put more and it be too salty. And then I add a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I don't know. I don't know. I just came up with this on my own. Uh-oh, please stand by. I need to get the wah, wah, wah. technical term. Wah, wah, wah. You know this thing. Wah, wah, wah. I think it's called a can opener, Tracy. Ugh. <laughs> yes, I came up with this recipe on my own last week, or week before maybe, and it was so good. So I cooked them in my pressure cooker for an hour and then I just let them sit and let the steam release on its own instead of coming in here and making it stop. Uh, that way they just have time to marinate, you know? And then it goes to warm and I'll probably just leave them in here until dinner time. Well, let me tell you what I do with them. I do all kinds of things with them. Okay, not really. One, what is this? Four ounce can of diced green chilies hot. Now I did the mild one time and they were not hardly spicy enough. And I'm not one that likes extreme spice. So the hot diced chilies do not make them too spicy. So I put the whole can. I don't know why I had to show y'all the empty can like I'm trying to prove something. Okay, then I take garlic powder 
And I use garlic powder rather than garlic salt because I've already added salt. And then I just do like this. I have no idea. You know, measure with love kind of thing. I just do like that. And then I take smoked paprika and I do the same thing. Maybe not quite as much, but it's not coming out as well as the other one, okay? I have no idea. Eighth of a teaspoon, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I've got all that in here. I'm gonna give it a little stirry stir. Just a little stirry stir. All right. And now I'm gonna take my beans. I always soak my beans overnight. I put them in this, in a big bowl full of water, and I just let them sit. And I know a lot of people parboil them, but this is, I, I've just found this is easier for me because knowing my luck, I, I would, I'm Shirley's daughter, I would wander off and they would boil too much and be done or whatever, I don't know. But I've just found this works and it keeps the gassies out. And that's what we wanna do is keep the gassies out. Cause nobody wants the gassies. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We're gonna put our lid on. Alrighty, and then I'm still new with this one. Pressure cook, and I'm gonna put it on custom. It's on an hour, it's on high, and then I'm gonna hit start, okay? And then it's gonna go through this preheating. Let's make sure. Now this one, yeah, you want it up like this to make sure that it's not releasing steam you pull it down to release steam when it's done. But if you let it naturally release, it'll tell you when all the steam is gone. And you can speed up the release pro process by doing this, pulling it back. I just use like a little stick so that my hand's not right here at it. Um, and you could have pinto beans. It'll probably preheat for a good 10 minutes or so. So you could have a pot of pinto beans in an hour and a half at the very most. So as I was saying, what I do is one day I might have a bowl of pinto beans with a piece of cornbread or something. And then the next day, and this is what I usually do, I'll take a serving of pinto beans and I'll put it in like a skillet, a, a frying pan, a cooking pan. Mm, we call it a skillet down here in the south, okay? And then I mash them and I make them into refried beans and then I put it on the tortilla with some of my fake cheese and I make me a bean burrito that is just to die for, okay? It is just to die for, because it's got the hot chilies in it, so I'll show y'all when it's done, okay? I'll be back. Okay, so the pressure cooker just started beeping, and it's been about 10 minutes, so it's gonna start its hour cook. So since it's already 11.30, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one off and then I'll show you the beans on part two. So you'll have to come back and watch it, okay? Okay, toodles for now and I'll see you this afternoon. Goodbye. Hi, welcome back to part two. Okay, so when I said earlier that I take a stick, it's not really a stick, I just take something long -er than my finger. Please step by. I forgot with this one, I don't have to use a stick because the steam comes out the back. So all you do is pull it like that and the steam starts coming out. But I turn it away from my cabinets because my mom used to get so mad at my brother. Hold on. Oh, she got mad at him because back in the day, he would wear cowboy hats and he would turn the steam on the stove eye, like the kettle, and steam would come out just like this, and he would form his cowboy hat, right? Because he wanted it to turn up in different places and whatever. This is back in the day when he go, used to go to this place. I think it was called Miss Kitty's on Delk Road. Mm. And uh, yeah, 
he ruined my mom's cabinets because all that steam was under the cabinet and hers had a, a laminate top over, mine are just wood because mine were custom built. Hers should have been custom built because the kitchen caught on fire. And anyway, she would get so mad at him because he would always do that and he wouldn't make sure the steam was turned away from the cabinets. Anyway, hold on, let me turn this back around. And it says, okay to open lid. Yeah, it tells you. So you just take it and turn it. Like that. Oh, am I showing? Was I showing anything? I don't know. I can't do this backwards, but look. Look, honey, we've got pinto beans. So now I'm gonna take some of them out and I'm gonna put them in a skillet. Y'all wanna see what a skillet is? A skillet and then I'm gonna put them over there well actually I don't even have to heat them because they're already hot so I'm going to use my slotted spoon because I don't want any gosh because I don't want any liquid I don't even have to actually oh you got all steamed up I don't even have to actually use a skillet I could just use a bowl but it's easier it's as easy to wash one as it is the other. So I'm just making sure that my juice comes out of my beans. And then I just mash them like that. And then I'm gonna heat up one of my gluten-free tortillas and I'm gonna add some of my fake cheese and I'm gonna make me a burrito. And I tell you what's the truth, if you didn't know it was fake cheese, I just spit. If you didn't know it was fake cheese uh, and a fake tortilla, you wouldn't know. You would not know. So see how I'm just doing that? Just making refried beans. Cause I love me some, a, a bean burrito, okay? A burrito. Do I need any more than that? I don't know, I might need a little bit more because that doesn't look like a whole lot. My eyes are sometimes bigger than my stomach, but we'll just put a few more in there and we'll mash them up. And let me get the cheese out. I'll show you my fake cheese. Is the phone still? Am I recording? Yeah. Okay, there's my Mexican blend shreds by Daya. And I just sprinkle them with the beans and let it melt. This is what I use for my tortilla. Now, the only thing is I can't eat them without heating them up because I don't think they taste very good unless you heat them up. It's just me, okay? So what I do, let me turn this around. Uh. Okay, so what I do is I put it on about three-ish and then I get a piece of al aluminum foil, also known as aluminum, aluminum foil. And then I just throw the tortilla on here and let it heat up. And I just keep flipping it because it'll start getting little bubbles in it when it starts heating up. And that's when I know it's time to flip it. Okay, so see how it's getting a little bubble there? When it just gets a couple more bubbles, I'm gonna flip it. This is also grain free. So if you suffer with a lot of pain, then a grain free diet can be helpful, can be. As always, consult your doctor before you do anything, okay? And I am gonna heat this up because in the mashing process, it cooled off too much and it's not really melting my fake cheese like I would like. So yeah, that's way too much beans, but hey, you know what? I, they'll get eaten. Is it a bad thing to have too many beans? Probably. <laughs> Okay, so it's got some more, so I'm just gonna take it and flip it. And see, it gets a nice little, you can tell the texture's different. And that's what I don't like is the texture, ugh. 
Now then, I have this heated up. They don't bend as much after you um, heat them up. But, yeah. Hmm. It's, it's the price you have to pay for grain-free, you know? It's made with almond flour. Okay, so, I got that to a better consistency with the melted cheese. Nice and cheesy. And my cat wants something to eat, even though she has already been fed and given treats. Uh -huh, yeah, haven't you, Gracie? And she likes to get a little bite of butter in the mornings. I figure it's good for their fur. They both get a little tiny pinch of butter. I mean, like a tiny little pinch. And I usually will hold it to her nose, like... So she can smell it, and then I'll walk over and put it on her bowl for her to eat. Gracie, she's right here begging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she took her paw and slapped it out of my hand, and it stuck to her paw. And then she was looking at it like, what do I do with it now, Mom? <laughs> I said, well, you're going to eat it where you are, I guess. It's not going to go in your bowl. Yeah, that's uh, too many beans. But, you know, like I said, they'll get eaten. I'm going to put some, some back in the pan, but they're so yummy. I'll just come back and have another bite of them later. Right. So then I just fold it. I don't really, it's more like a taco burrito. I mean, a taco. It's more like a bean taco than a bean burrito because it doesn't really roll well. But bon appetiti. And am I right? <laughs> Today's video was all about the pinto beans. Maybe I can do something else tomorrow that doesn't include pinto beans. But I do have a third video coming of what I did during the eclipse. The total eclipse of the heart. Yes. So, toodles, manoodles. Oh, yeah. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which will probably be tomorrow because I do post every day, which will probably be later because I'm posting a, a another one. Yeah. Toodles, my noodles, and stay silly, my friends. Ain't that right, Gracie? She said, yes, that's right. Goodbye.